Inline milk meters measure aspects of milk and the milking of individual cows. There's a lot of very different inline meters on the market, both in how they work and what they measure. Most measure milk yield, milking time and milk flow. Some meters are mastitis indicators, measuring electrical conductivity or somatic cells or a specific enzyme, lactate dehydrogenase, or by testing for the presence of blood or watery foremilk. Some meters measure milk components such as fat and protein. Some provide nutritional indicators such as the level of urea, beta hydroxybutyrate or ketones in the milk or test progesterone levels for reproductive analysis. Then there's meters that help milk harvesting with customizable vacuum blocking or letdown delays as examples. A 2018 TechKiss survey found that 26% of dairy farms in New South Wales had inline milk meters, especially larger herds. Half of the inline milk meters installed on New South Wales farms could measure mastitis indicators. Farms in New South Wales are typically using inline milk meters for day-to-day -day management at milking, to decide when to dry off, for finding clinical cases of mastitis, and to generate lists of cows that have dropped their production or to track responses to changes in feed. Regularly collected milk meter data can inform strategic decisions around culling and feeding regimes in the herd or for herd level analysis of milk quality, typically in consultation with a service provider. In this video we'll cover how inline milk meters work, what makes them smart, what products are available in Australia, and advice from farmers and service providers about making it work for your farm. While there are many differences in the way that inline milk meters work, the smart part of a fully electronic system always involves identifying the right cow and getting reliable measures from the milk meter and using the information to control costs and improve production. Cows are identified using their electronic identification this EID is matched to a specific milk meter in a bale, either by the order the cows enter the shed or by in-bale identification, which is a prerequisite for some meters. What the milk meters measure and how varies between products. There are weigh jars, fill and dump meters and continuous flow meters. Some of the inline tests, such as an automated Californian mastitis test, require reagents. Milk meters are expensive and about half the cost is the display units or control boxes that can be installed at each milking point for farm workers to see and use. The system connects to a central milk point controller which ideally sends the meter data to herd management software so it can be fully utilised. Without the science, algorithms and programming that is part of any technology package, all you have is a large amount of raw data. The project has put together a spreadsheet of inline milk meters available in Australia. This list is called the Tech Matrix. You can find it on the New South Wales Department of Primary Industries website. This slide shows the first page of the Tech Matrix. Technologies that have a white star and a blue circle are included in the Tech Matrix. To get to the inline milk meter page, click on the inline milk meter tab. In 2019, 21 different milk meters were commercially available in Australia. The first four entries are showing here. The product name is given in the column on the left. The other columns show what it measures, volume, flow rate, fat protein, conductivity, mastitis, or other mastitis indicators, and other test parameters. Other columns show whether it's essentially the same meter as another brand, what software controls meters, the compatible herd management software, what other kit it works with, and whether the meter accuracy meets the standard set by the International Committee for Animal Recording. While inline milk meters enable on-farm management, not all have the accuracy required for milk recording. The final column shows whether the software that runs the meter also checks the meter's performance. Every farm with inline milk meters surveyed by TechKiss said they had made a significant difference to the farm business but we're not doing everything we want on one third of farms. The rest of this tech talk gives tips from farmers and service providers about making inline milk metering equipment work for you. Inline milk meters are a significant investment. Usually they are put in with a new shed or installed as part of an upgrade. Before buying, focus on what you want them to do 
and whether you can get the lists and specific metrics that you or your farm advisors need to get value from the system. The risk of not doing this up front is you don't actually get what's needed and a large amount of data is generated but not used. Milk meters require careful installation by a qualified technician. There's a lot of powered equipment to connect and wash lines to avoid. On installation, milk meters become an integral part of the milk harvesting system. It's important to have a system where milk flow through the meter is unimpeded. The meters are easy to wash and they are positioned so there is easy access for maintenance and calibration. If it's too hard, it doesn't happen. Like any measuring equipment, it's assumed the readings are consistent and reliable. This only happens when there is a maintenance schedule in place and it's being followed. Meters need to be regularly calibrated. The way of doing this is different for every meter and is described in the product user manuals. But in reality, it's better to get a service technician to do it. Being confident that issues can be fixed in reasonable time is important, especially if milk harvesting is contingent on the meters working. Most companies recommend a specific service interval, like every 7,000 milkings. Having a cleaning program that is effective is essential. This includes having sufficient hot water available. Some inline meters can monitor the wash temperature. And ensuring water quality, water hardness, isn't interfering with the washing process. The Dairy Australia booklet on dairy hygiene has good information on this. When milk meters trigger an alert, cows need to be followed up in a way that is appropriate. What's done when there is a mastitis alert is a good case in point. The likelihood that a cow is infected will depend on what biological agent is being measured, whether it's blood, changes in electrical conductivity or somatic cells, how high the alert threshold has been set and the level of mastitis in the herd. So every farm has to develop a way of following up an alert that works for them. It may be a draft and strip approach or a wait for another milking and see approach. Whatever protocol is applied, all farm team members, including casual milkers, have to know what they are meant to do and have the skills they need to do it. This is an appropriate point to comment on using changes in milk yield for health alerts. It can be an important health indicator, especially when coupled with activity or rumination data. But if using milk yield on its own, be aware that many normal circumstances can result in a two to three litre drop in a healthy cow, from a change in milking order to a change in paddock or a change in the weather. The value of inline milk meters depends on the data they generate being used to automate tasks such as order drafting cows, inform decisions such as feed management, and to boost the accuracy of cow alerts when combined with other cow level data. This happens seamlessly when milk meter data flows to the farm's herd management software. Issues around cow identification, especially when cows are not matched with the right meter, cause a major headache. Some common issues are covered in the TechKiss topic on cow EID, but a quick recap on a couple of important points. To prevent electromagnetic interference of radio signals, at the time of installation ensure all cables are adequately shielded and they run in conduit separate to pump or other heavy duty power cables. And when the EID reader is at the entry to the milking shed, design or modify the lead in so that cows stay in the same order that they are read and that they can't partially enter then back out. Points to help you get the most from your inline milk meters are summarized on a TechKiss topic sheet. You can use this to help discuss what's best for your farm when talking with your tech suppliers, service providers and other farmers. We hope this information has been useful. Other cow management technologies covered in this series include auto drafting, computerized bale feeding and activity meters.